vida a bordo del barco es una vida tranquila, sencilla. Hacemos lo que la gente de la tripulación hace, ayudamos en la limpieza, ayudamos en la cocina, participamos de las actividades que también hace la tripulación y es una oportunidad para compartir, compartir con gente de otras culturas. So, where you guys joined the ship was right here in Longyearbyen, mm -hmm. and we just left there. We're going to be sailing this direction, then we'll go north towards the ice edge. We've received information from the satellite images and the ice charts that the ice edge is approximately in this area. So once we get up to this location, the ship will go into the ice. Cuando te vas acercando al hielo con el barco y puedes ver la diferencia de colores entre el océano y el hielo y luego cuando el barco entra abriendo camino a través del hielo en una masa gigante, blanca, que parece un rompecabezas donde el mar y el hielo se juntan para hacer una explanada inmensa, inmensa y maravillosa a la vez que vas sintiendo el sonido estruendoso con el casco del barco al ingresar es increíble y es algo que no me voy a olvidar Okay, you've seen one of these before, hanging outside a barber shop maybe. <laughs> so our main objective for today is to take out an ice core and then we allow the ice to melt and um, test the salinity after that. Besides of this, what other equipment do you use for your research? Well, there are many, many different things. I mean, if you just want to know the thickness of the ice, you can just drill through and then use a um, measuring tape to measure the thickness directly. And um, in the next leg of the trip, we'll be using an underwater vehicle, an AUV, to look at the shape of the bottom of the ice with a sonar uh, and to look at the top of the ice, sort of laser scanning devices that map the, the contours of the surface. So we'll be able to get a three-dimensional view of the entire ice flow hopefully helpful to understand what's happening as a result of global warming okay. uh, and so on. What happens when everything is gone? The well, that's a very expansive anymore. question. <laughs> uh, what happens? Because I'm from Ghana yeah. and I've never seen snow. Yes. Ice doesn't form around us, so uh -huh. it's like two opposite worlds for me. Yes. So I don't see how it's going to be affecting me uh -huh. in Ghana or in Africa. Yep. So what happens when all of this melts? Does it have an effect on other continents like Africa? The Arctic acts as a kind of heat sink for the world, so the warm areas of the world um, tend to be cooled by the oceans and the circulation tends to take heat away from the equatorial areas and hotter areas of the world. Um, so places, certain places in Africa could become a lot hotter than they are now and places which are vulnerable to uh, droughts Um, could become even more vulnerable to droughts. Creo que debemos proteger este lugar. Lamentablemente sí podemos notar los cambios que se están dando. Se ha perdido más del 75% de la capa flotante de hielo en los últimos 30 años y tal vez sintamos que somos personas de lugares muy lejanos pero en realidad sí nos afecta a todos. Estar en el glacial y sentir la brisa y el olor y el aire puro. Y es un paisaje que se complementa de una manera perfecta, como solo la naturaleza lo sabe hacer. So, um, what is the difference between sea ice and a glacier? Well, glaciers could be thought of, I suppose, as frozen rivers. Okay. And so um, they are they are freshwater, 
and uh, the ice in them results from uh, precipitation, from uh, snow falling mm -hmm. and um, becoming compressed under the weight of further snow. And they uh, flow slowly um, into the ocean and break off icebergs. Okay. So that causes the sea level to rise. Okay. Um, whereas sea ice, which is frozen seawater, can result in indirect sea level rise because more open water is exposed as mm -hmm. the sea ice melts. Okay. Um, the open water is darker and it can cause uh, the ocean to absorb more radiation and the heating of the Arctic, which in turn causes the retreat of glaciers and the melting of ice sheets, for example, the ice sheets uh, on Greenland. That can have very significant consequences all over the world. Mm -hmm. Low-lying areas of the planet, um, such as Bangladesh and any low-lying coastal areas, could potentially be inundated by seawater, okay. uh, which would affect um, potentially millions of people. Even though I'm far away from home, just the feeling of bringing all of us together, people who are concerned about the environment fighting for one cause, it's kind of brought the feeling of home back to me. El deshielo del Ártico es una realidad, pero no es una invitación a seguir explotando los recursos naturales que ahí existen. Es más bien una oportunidad para que la comunidad global tome acción. Es lindo saber que estás en este lugar con gente tan diversa y de tantos lugares. Aquí todos juntos, en realidad, pensamos en lo mismo, que esto es una oportunidad para que muchas personas se unan y apoyemos esta campaña de salvar el Ártico.